Help me, Grapes. Grapes, where are you when I need you? Man, this Hobbit stuff is strong. Greetings one and all and welcome back to Minecraft Sublime. This is episode 33. Now, do you guys recognize where I'm standing? Hmm? You should. There's a portal in the background there to the nether. So yes, we're in the portal room. And this will give it away straight away. Schwam. Big giant ring. Yes indeed, that is the portal to the Lord of the Rings dimension. To Middle Earth. And that's where we're going today. But first, as usual, I have a few things to do, and I think I'm going to quickly do some editing here, so that yeah, so it doesn't take too long. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to run over here and check out the one totem that I put up. There are another two or three people that I haven't put up yet. Shenanigans, my friend, and and Darkness MC. Don't worry, guys, I'll get you guys up soon. But I thought that it was about time. Jack Reynolds. He's been very patient with me. <laughs> and finally, here you go, Jack. Here is your totem. Wait, let's get a good look at it from the side. There you go. Very nice. I think Jack was the very first person to submit his totem, and it's taken me this long to get it. Mostly because of the Pride Stone. It took so long to get to the, uh, the Lion King dimension. But okay, so he said he wants Pride Stone at the bottom because he loves Disney. Fossils because he loves dinosaurs, fossil block. The crafting table because of his love of Minecraft, indeed. The tower wood planks because Twilight Forest is one of his. Ah, one of the first mods that he played. And glowstone because he loves the Aether mod and wants my glow glowstone. I wrote this a long time ago and I don't quite... Ah, yeah, he loves the Aether mod. The Aether portal is made with glowstone. And also he says he wants my glowstone path to grow over time. Thank you, Jack. I, it has grown quite a bit already. And uh, yes, indeed, I also hope it will grow. Thank you very much. Because for those of you who don't know, each glowstone block represents one of my subscribers. And I've put down about 1,140 of them so far. And I think I have another hundred or so that I can put down now. I think I'm on 1,260 something. So that's something we can do one of these episodes. But okay, so the next thing that we need to do is some preparation. Because we're going to another mod, uh, I mean to another dimension, the Lord of the Rings dimension. And this time I intend to go beyond the boundaries of the safe Shire. So yeah, we're going to need to have some good armor. That's not too bad, but I thought I would just repair it. Oh, and for that I'm going to need some some juice, some experience juice from here. Not quite sure how many I'm going to need. Let's see if 10 levels is enough. So yes, this is the enchanting plus table and it's very nice. You can either enchant things or repair them. And uh, yeah, so that's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to add any enchantments right now. Just going to repair, and that, as you can see, costs three. Let me show you here on the side. It shows you three. Hmm, I wonder if I'm going to have enough. I think I'm probably going to have to go get an extra level. Yep, extra two levels. There we go. So fully repaired armor, and now I'm not even going to skip the video because it's right here. The last thing we have to do is fetch Grapes, because I promised Grapes that, that she could come with me. Hey Grapes, and she's waiting for me here, in my bedroom. Hello Grapes. <laughs> you guys will remember in the previous episode we, were, we came back from the Twilight Forest. And then I just hopped through the portal here, and uh, decided to keep her in my bedroom. Right? Right Grapes? Yeah, you've been very comfortable down here, eh? outside of, I mean, you know, inside out of the rain and the sunshine 
Alright, so yes, I think that's all we need to do. You'll notice her name is gone again. Uh, Lycanite. I guess that's something you need to fix because the name tag does work, but it seems temporarily. The name is applied, but then I get the, the name tag back for some reason. And, and that's weird. It, ha it happens randomly. It just comes back. Usually when I right click again at some point. And then at some point she loses her name. So yeah. Anyway, alright, so Grapes, we know that your name is Grapes, right? We don't need to, to have a tag to remember that. So here we are, and here we go. I don't know if this is going to work. Hey Grapes, are you going to make it? I, mean, I know I'll go through, but we really don't know about Grapes. Let's see what happens. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, so I'm in the, the area. Uh-oh. Okay, I think Grapes went through. Yeah, that's the thing. I think I have to be off of her. And then she goes through. And now I'm through. Oh, yes. Hello, Grapes. <laughs> You've made it. Grapes, welcome to the Shire. Very nice. There's the Hobbit house. The first one that I stole from. <laughs> okay, now I don't want to go back. Let me just hop through here. How are we going to get you back, Grapes? Hmm? Oh, it's getting dark here already. Hold on. I have a solution for that. Let's just get away from the portal. And sleep. Protect me, grapes, as I sleep. Although here in the Shire, there's not much protection necessary. Okay, so now, put this back. And I guess what I want to do is I want to keep a portal here close so that I can get back really fast if necessary. Where is that? Where's this portal going? Here we go. Um, okay. What we'll do is we'll just make a a somewhere here where I can teleport back. Oh, extra level, nice. By the way, my my night vision spell doesn't seem to work. Very sadly, I tested it in the overworld without. Let me just put a portal here. Actually, let me reset that and put this one. There we go. Yeah, it doesn't seem to... Who's drinking what? TF portal? Twilight forest portal? Why is that visible here? It's not supposed to be visible here. Anyway, it's alright. I got my portal here now, so I don't really need a waypoint. Alright, grapes. Yeah, so I tested the, the night vision potion, as I say, in the overworld and without the shaders, with and without the shaders, and it just didn't work. So I'm very confused. I don't know if I did something wrong when I, when I made it, but yeah, I did test it thoroughly and I've posted in the forums for help. We'll see what comes of that. I'll test it here in this dimension too, just to see. Alright, now last time we went north, so I'm thinking this time... We're gonna go south. Wait, did I? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Because I really, what I'd like to... The thing that inspired me to come here is not only to see what else we can find outside of the Shire, but also I want to see if I can dig underground in parts that I haven't been yet to see if I can find thermal expansion lead. Because, yeah, I really need that stuff. And, and I can't find it in the overworld. Hello, hobbits! How goes? Let me see here. Good day, good day. <laughs> Half fast, Cotman, Sancho, Baggins. Hello, Sancho. I'm still looking for Frodo, you know. He has rosy gamage. Good day, good day, what is good day? The lack of food is the worst thing about being on duty, Mantle Sage. This is Marigold Gamgee, the hobbit sheriff. Marigold. Related to Sam, I assume. Eleanor Fair Fairbarn, the Hobbit. May the hair on your toes never fall out, Mandel Sage. Thank you. And and yours too. Um <laughs> uh oh, I've lost grapes. Grapes. Grapes, where are you? Ah, there, okay. Come on, grapes, let's go. We got far away to go and uh, you know, to explore, so I'm glad I got you with me. I can fly over the hills. 
So okay guys, what I'm going to do, because this is really big, the dimensions in this, di in this uh, I mean the biomes in this dimension. So Grapes and I are just going to go exploring. Oh, hold on a second, that's a different sort of house. That's not a hobbit house at all. Let me go and see this quickly. Huh. This is completely different. Hmm. Okay, Grapes, you stay here on the side, right? I'm going to investigate. Where's the front? Well, there seem to be hobbits inside. But where's the door? Hello? Well, that is strange. Wait, let me, let me look inside that. Oh, wait, here it is. Ooh. He's, he, he, it's a hobbit, it's an infernal mob's hobbit. Where are you? Let me take a look at you. The bloated horse. <laughs> okay, so this is an inn. Very nice. Rosamunda Buffin. Jilly Whitfoot. Blanu Goodbody. The hobbit's bartender. <laughs> Very nice. I think I'll have one, thank you. Hmm, what effect... Nausea, oh my gosh. What? <laughs> no! Oh, oh gosh. Oh, um, Estella Gamage, why didn't you warn me? Whoa. Oh my gosh, how long is this gonna... 54 seconds. Help me, Grapes. Grapes, where are you when I need you? Man, this Hobbit stuff is strong. <laughs> Grapes, there you are. Grapes, wait. Let's see if things look any better from the sky. Whoosh! <laughs> oh my gosh! Wow! I gotta, I gotta take some of this stuff with me back home. Whoa! <laughs> I wonder what that is. Okay, so grapes. This is really making me feel funny. Hold on a second. Let me get off of you here. Let me go sit down. I can if, if I can make my way to the door here. Yeah, yeah, okay. Come on, you can't you can't serve this sort of stuff and not have a place to sit. What's wrong with you? Oh, there you go. The effects have finally worn off. Yeah, I think I'll have some cabbage. Um, please, not cabbage, lettuce. I'm gonna eat some lettuce. I'm not hungry right now. How can I not be hungry after that? Weird. <laughs> Okay, am I going to drink more? No, you know what? I'm going to take that. Can I take it? Yeah. Moderate cherry liquor. That's what I drank. Cherry liquor. Huh, strong stuff, I tell you. What's this? Ooh, a, a, a barrel. Full of cherry liquor. Very nice. Wait. Do you need three buckets? Can I take? Hmm. I'll have to investigate how this works later on. Because I really want this episode to be more full of adventure than what it is so far. Here's a steak. But as I'm vegetarian, I'll leave that for you, uh, Griffo, Griffo Grub. The Hobbit Sheriff. Ah, and a great big fire. Very nice. Hello, Everard. Everard Old Buck. <laughs> Puffing away on his pipe weed. Okay, anyway, guys, let me set off here. But hold on, my, my nose... I, I really need to blow my nose. Just a second, guys. There we go. Much better. Yeah, I don't know. I hope I'm not getting a cold because I'm going back to work tomorrow after having a month's vacation. I mean, here's another hobbit house. Yeah, I think I'll leave the hobbits alone for now. Yeah, going back to work, which I'm really not happy about. 30 days of paid vacation was very nice. But oh well, it's only one more month and then I'm going to South Africa, so so it's not too bad. I want to also say sorry for, for not posting anything on Sunday, but uh, I've been working hard on Minecraft Dinosaurs and Mo Creatures. For those of you who haven't seen that yet, by the way, episode 1 is out and I really recommend you go check it out because I worked hard on it with some sort of cinematic effects with the Camera Studio mod, the mod that I, that I made that I made the intro with, this Sublime's intro with, and it's coming out quite nice so far. I, I really do like it. So you guys go check that out. Now I am going to just fly on to the south, 
and see what comes southeast, I guess, because towards the east is supposed to be the, the misty mountains, right? So maybe we'll end up in Rohan going this way. We'll see. So, okay, guys, give me a second and I will edit the video here until something exciting happens. Alright, guys, so it was a long journey and I found another one of these bloated. What, what's it called? Bloated donkey or bloated dragon? Yeah, bloated dragon. But I can't get grapes out here now. I don't know how I got them in in the first place. Hey, grapes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to chop down the wall. Sorry, hobbits. But uh, you're the ones who didn't make it um, Uber Raptor safe. So, ow, ow. There we go. We're out. Yeah, as I say, the uh, that, that hurting effect, it's just an effect that I don't actually get hurt. So, we're continuing on south. Oh wait, there's another building. I wonder if it's another another inn. Let's go check it out. Yep, just another inn. The Wary Troll. <laughs> I wonder if they've got a different drink. Let's see. The Hobbits seem to be enjoying it a lot. Okay, here we go. What are you? Moderate cherry liquor, no. But I'll take it though. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I've got nothing to pay you with, but later on, I I'll, you know, I'll pay you back later. Hmm. And, you know, come to think of it, I'm going to take this as well. They've got one, so, yeah, they won't miss this one. Thanks, man. Uh, uh, what's your name? Thanks, Bingo Bulger. Off we go. To the south. Ha 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 ha! Look at this chicken. I already got this hat so he can live. <laughs> Very funny. Alright, guys. Yet another day has passed. I've traveled a very far distance and I still seem to be in the Shire. Which is rather annoying. It's such a huge place. Uh, really not supposed to be like this. And I know that the maps have had updates, but unfortunately they're not backporting to 1.6.4. So, I... yeah, I cannot get those updates. Hmm, here's Ars Magica stuff. I wonder. Oh, and I did see some some copper from Thermal Expansion before. So that's, that's cool. At least we know it's spawning here. Now the only thing is... Before I go caving, I want to see if I can find a different area. And I need to sleep, and, and Grapes is having trouble getting out of the water again. Come on, Grapes. You can do it. There we go. So, let's sleep again quickly. And I will be back. Alright, guys. I've been traveling a very, very long time. And I finally figured out L gives me the map. I had forgotten about the map. And look at that, I was going south, right? And that was going nowhere, so now I've traveled all the way back up this way. You can see here by the values that they give, it's really far. But we're heading to the old forest. And we're bound to find some excitement in, in there. But, yes, I just wanted to stop here and have a quick break. Hey? Now, where did they get... Look at that. Let me just see here. Gammon, ah, it's gammon, okay. Gammon, I, it kind of looked like maca meat, raw maca meat. <coughs> Excuse me. But you know what, I'm going to take this chicken here, not for me, but for grapes. Because grapes likes chicken, right grapes? I owe you some chicken. There you go. So, come on grapes, we've got a long time to go and there's still some, some sunlight left. To the east. Okay, that's a bit strange. I just got this message here. Unable to locate sign at 7136663556. I was just flying along and that appeared, so... Hmm. Got no idea. If anybody knows, please leave a comment. Because I really have no clue.
Okay, some really weird stuff is happening here. What? Alright, so that is definitely weird. We got a chunk error in front of us and some really strange. Let me see what's happening here. What? Oh, <laughs> I think I've been drinking too much again. What? <laughs> what is going on? Um, grapes? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Okay, guys, I'm just going to restart my game, I guess, because that is just bizarre. Ugh. Weird. <laughs> I just, I hit... <laughs> oh, man, what was in that cherry liquor? I tell you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Grapes, where are you? Okay, guys, there's definitely something very strange going on. I, I did reload the game, and look at what's going on here. Did you see? Look at this cow. What? And now I'm upside down again. Oh, my gosh. Um, <laughs> I don't really know what to do, because I, I loaded the game, and it was doing that, so I loaded it again. Grapes, this is all your fault. Hey, don't go too far down there. It's dangerous. Because yes, look guys, look on the map here. I finally found the old forest, we're right on the edge. And in fact, it's probably something in this old forest that's doing these glitches. Ooh, there we go, achievement get, unfriendly trees. And I did see some, yeah, there's some copper from thermal expansion. So I think this is a good spot to end the video. I'll see what I can do about these glitches, if anything. And then in the next episode, we will venture into the old forest and see what dangers await us. Mm. But okay, look at that. Look at my hat there. And now I'm upside down again. Ah, gosh. So, thank you guys for watching this episode. Please give the video... <laughs> ah, stupid glitch. Please give the video a like. And uh, I will see you in the next episode. Strange floating cow there on the, on the right. Mm. So yes... Thanks guys, see you next time, bye bye. Big giant ring. Yes, indeed, that is the portal to the Lord of the Rings dimension, to Middle Earth. And that's where we're going today. But first, as usual, I have a few things to do, and I think I'm going to quickly do some editing here so that, yeah, so it doesn't take too long. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to run over here and check out the one totem that I put up. There are another two or three people that I haven't put up yet. Shenanigans, my friend, and, and Darkness MC. Don't worry, guys, I'll get you guys up soon. But I thought that it was about time. Jack Reynolds, he's been very patient with me. <laughs> and finally, here you go, Jack. Here is your totem. Wait, let's get a good look at it from the side. There you go. Very nice. I think Jack was the very first person to submit his totem. And uh, yes, indeed, I also hope it will grow. Thank you very much. Because, for those of you who don't know, each glowstone block represents one of my subscribers. And I've put down about 1,140 of them so far. And I think I have another 100 or so that I can put down now. I think I'm on 1,260 something. So that's something we can do one of these episodes. But okay, so the next thing that we need to do is some preparation because we're going to another mod 
Um, I mean to another dimension, the Lord of the Rings dimension, and this time I intend to go beyond the boundaries of the safe Shire. So, yeah, we're going to need to have some good armor. That's not too bad, but I thought I would just repair it. Oh, and for that I'm going to need some... some juice. Help me, grapes! Grapes, where are you when I need you? Man, this Hobbit stuff is strong! Greetings one and all and welcome back to Minecraft Sublime. This is episode 33. Now, do you guys recognize where I'm standing? Hmm? You should. There's a portal in the background there to the nether. So yes, we're in the portal room. And this will give it away straight away. Schwarm. It's taken me this long to get it. Mostly because of the pride stone it took so long to get to the uh, the Lion King dimension. But okay, so he said he wants Pride Stone at the bottom because he loves Disney. Fossils because he loves dinosaurs. Fossil block. The crafting table because of his love of Minecraft. Indeed. The tower wood planks because Twilight Forest is one of his... Ah, one of the first mods that he played. And Glowstone because he loves the Aether mod. And once my glo glowstone, I wrote this a long time ago, and I don't quite. Ah, yeah, he loves the Aether mod. The Aether portal is made with glowstone, and also he says he wants my glowstone path to grow over time. Thank you, Jack. I, it has grown quite a bit already. Some experience juice from here. Not quite sure how many I'm going to need. Let's see if ten levels is enough. So yes, this is the Enchanting Plus table and it's very nice. You can either enchant things or repair them. And uh, yeah, so that's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to add any enchantments right now. Just going to repair and that, as you can see, costs three. Let me show you here on the side it shows you. Three. Hmm, I wonder if I'm going to have enough. I think I'm probably going to have to go get an extra level. Yep, extra two levels. There we go. So, fully repaired armor. And now I'm not even going to skip the video because it's right here. The last thing we have to do is 